Hi, I'm Sock, a developer advocate with Google Pay. We introduced the Google Pay React component to reduce developer friction and make integration a breeze. You can find it on NPM and GitHub. In this video, I'll be providing a technical walkthrough of how to integrate the Google Pay React component into your React application. For the purpose of this walkthrough, I'll be using the following sample application. The first thing we need to do to integrate Google Pay into our React application is to download and install the package with NPM. Next, we're going to add the Google Pay button into our product detail page, itemdetails.tsx. We will import the Google Pay button and add the Google Pay button to the page. Because this is a test integration, we'll target the test environment. Next, we'll specify a button size mode of fill so that the button will grow to the size of the container. We'll use a typical example of the payment request by adding the required version numbers, specifying our allowed payment methods, adding payment gateway details, including our merchant details. The merchant identifier can be found in the Google Pay Business Console. Finally, transaction details. The total price comes from the items price. After we've initialized the payment request, we'll handle the response from the payment sheet with the onload payment data callback. In this example, We'll log the payment response to the console and navigate to the confirmation page. Once we're done, this is what it should look like. We've obviously taken a few shortcuts for the sample application. In a real world application, we would post the payment method data along with our order information to the back end before navigating to the confirmation page. Request shipping information, calculate taxes, and add error handling. When you've completed your testing, submit your website integration in the Google Pay Business Console. You will need to provide your website's URL and screenshots to complete the submission. Join me in the next video where we will integrate some advanced features like dynamic price updates into our React application. Thanks for watching.